Hi, welcome to Hopkins River Beef. My name's David McConaughey. My family own and operate Hopkins River Beef here. This is one of our properties, Meadowbank. This is our home place at Dunkeld. And we're currently standing in one of the paddocks where we produce a lot of our grass-fed beef. You can see our beautiful backyard behind us with the Grampians Mountains. It's a pretty, very pretty part of the world, so we love living here. So I talked to you for a little, little while about grass-fed beef. Um, what it is and how it's produced. So grass-fed obviously means yes they're grass-fed. I've got some samples of grass here. We've got a phalaris which is a more of a bulky type feed. We've got a ryegrass uh, which is probably more of a favorite of a lot of cattle and especially in the dairy industry as well it's a it's a favorite and then we've got the clover which is very seasonal but produces a lot of those beautiful flavors that you'll find in grass-fed beef and that's when you talk about spring lamb, spring beef, full of flavour. Well, this is the time. Look at the green grass around. Grass-fed beef cattle are basically in a grass-fed production system like this, in a big mob, moving around. We rotationally graze here. They will generally be anywhere from sort of 18 to 25 months of age um, until it's time to, to go to slaughter. We do also run grain-fed beef. Um, that's down about an hour south of here at the Hopkins River feedlot. Um, Grain-fed beef is, in a sense, a lot of misconceptions that they think grain-fed means that the animal's been fed on grain its whole life. That's wrong. The animal's actually, in, a, in layman's terms, in our system, they're fed on grass in this same production system for anywhere from sort of 12 to 15 months. The cattle are then, we put them on trucks, we take them to our feedlot where they're finished on grain. They'll go on to grain, a grain-based diet, it's only about 80-82% grain. Um, they'll go on that diet for approximately 105 days and that's just a way of creating a much more uniformed, consistent product for 365 days of the year. We essentially take the elements out, the seasons out of it that come into grass-fed beef. That's just a way of being able to offer the customer probably the best of both worlds. Both production systems are very different, however they're both extremely important to Australian agriculture.